Hello, everybody, and welcome to Theme Park Wizard. Today, I have a very interesting video, and we're going to talk about the feature of Six Flags Parks. We're eventually going to go through each uh, in the chain, but we're going to start with Six Flags because I feel like they're the most in trouble. And what I mean by the most in trouble is you'll see that right here. I put up the stock price for you. See, it's fifteen fifty-eight. That's as of today, as of closing today. Um, market sales at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And it's $15, which is very low now. The stock markets have been crashing for the past couple of weeks due to the coronavirus situation, which is something big here we're going to talk about in terms of the health of the company. Now, let's just check out the, just the past five years of the stock in general. So, you know, obviously, all theme parks in North America are closed at the moment. That's not helping anyone's, any theme park uh, company's case or profits. But um, we have, since I was struggling before the coronavirus, which makes this particular company in a kind of danger, um, maybe not bankruptcy, but in severe like danger, I'd say, as a, as a long-term outlook type of situation. Because as you see, it was at its peak of the past five years, it's about $71 a share. And that's just a couple of years ago, seven, September 7, 2018. So it's about even though, just a year and a half ago. And it got on March 20th to $11. And it started to recover, which is good. But I um, mean, that's just going from 71 to 80 like that. The coronavirus didn't start till March here, but March 13th or so, like right, maybe beginning of March, it was about, the stock was already $21 a share before that, so it was already going, um, it was already tanking, so that's something to really, really watch, and here are some reasons as to why the stock was tanking in this lovely article by The Motley Fool that came out uh, yesterday. And we're talking about how Six Flags is a clear loser in this pandemic, as you said, it really is, as, again, no one wants to go to uh, theme parks uh, while they're closed, but no one wants to, you know, even when they reopen, people are going to be a little bit wary about going to these places. And as you've seen here, shares have fallen 71% year to date, over 71%. Um, and that's surpassing the 25% decline of the S&P 500. Six Flags, Six Flags, Six Flags, Six Flags, um, hold on for just a second, hold on, oh, yes, so it fell 7% um, over the same period. It's bigger than the whole S&P 500 together. Now, they're already underperforming in the market, as they have continued to say here. And here's Magic Mountain the picture. And part of the reason they're failing in the market was because, um, again, yeah, before this coronavirus situation, they were having a failed Chinese expansion. The, uh, Six Flags China, Six Flags Kadaya. Uh, well, that's a uh, Middle East, but they wanted to develop some parks in China. And again, those uh, over the summer was announced, those have been pulled out. So as um, um, Flags and the partners pulled out of doing that park in China in the whole master plan theme park uh, community um, in China and even in Saudi Arabia, it's been a little bit shaky there. So that's one big thing. And then more importantly, there's a lackluster fourth quarter performance. Six Flags has really been trying to sell um, those memberships and push memberships and season passes, but that did not help as um, the quarterly revenue fell over $269.5 million over the last three months of 2019. It's a 3% decline and it's just driven by lower attendance um, just in general over all the parks in North America. Um, they didn't, uh, last year, the 2018, they had a net income. Well, this year in 2019, they had a net a loss of 11.2 million. And that is, again, as a result of what they say here, a higher stock-based composition expansions. And again, <laughs> that problem in China. And they already have terrible outlooks for this year. 
um, in 2020. Um, and they'll even be, again, as they hear, overall, overall optimistic as they couldn't foresee this coronavirus situation coming. And they're, they're basing their, their budgets on opening in April. But uh, again, according to some analysts here, they might not open until the beginning of July. So they're being overall optimistic Six Flags for the future of the parks. And they already had some high debt levels here. Um, but luckily for Six Flags fans, again, they have no significant debt mercenaries until 2024. Six Flags is unlikely to go bankrupt and told them, but in 2024, they could, um, they could, if nothing gets fixed, they can go bankrupt in 2024, um, which is very, very interesting, and that's only yeah, four years away. Um, so they, again, they would have to do something to fix that. And the one thing I say is sell off some assets. And selling off those assets to chains like Cedar Fair, for example. So I wonder what type, what Cedar Fair should definitely, um, will probably definitely think of picking up some six-pack sparks because Cedar Fair financially is doing very, very well. Even with the coronavirus situation, they're doing very strong quarter, record tenants at all their parks. Again, coronavirus was going to hit them, hit every theme park company hard this year, but they're already in a pretty good position, so they can kind of take the hit. But what's happening here is, um, it's just really funny how Six Flags was in talks to potentially buy Cedar Fair, and now how kind of the tables have turned, where Cedar Fair probably won't buy Six Flags, but they'll definitely take some um, parks off Six Flags' um, chain, like, uh, again, it's not the big ones. Magic Mountain and stuff, the big ones are safe. But maybe small ones like La Ronde in Canada um, and some smaller Six Flags parks and maybe like Darius Lake, but some some of like they just acquired like Darius Lake. Cedar Fair might acquire those, acquire those in the next few years. Don't be surprised about that. And don't be surprised if prices potentially increase a little bit for Six Flags parks as well, especially if they're not selling as many memberships as they want to expect maybe one day tickets um, to increase. And also don't expect Six Flags, six flags to spend out so much money on um, rides such as roller coasters and stuff because as an effort to save money and do budget cuts for uh, the next at least four years or so. So it's very, very interesting because again, Six Flags Magic Mountain, where I did a video <laughs> link above here about what can come in 2021 and those plans, unless it's already budgeted for, it could potentially change. But let me know what you guys think of this video and what you guys think Six Flags, the, of the Six Flags the Company in the uh, comments below. And subscribe to the channel for more Think Park updates, more updates about this specific situation. And as always, have a fantastic day.